Hi everyone, today we are going to start working on the ingredients view. Here is what we do in this video. I will pick some items up like this and then when I open the crafting and click on the X you can see here this ingredients view where we have the number of items currently in the inventory and also the not finished ingredients view where we will in the next video also add ingredient slots. So when I click on items, you can see this updates in real time. And when I click on another top, this gets reset it. Open your project and then let's go to the widgets tab. And inside here, open the crafting. And here I want to create a new widget blueprint. Call this WB underscore ingredients widget or view. Then open your crafting menu so we can copy some borders from here and your ingredients view. In the ingredients view I want to add custom and here we do some values like 400 by 800 something like this and then we will add a border or we go to the crafting menu click here on the WB crafting items and we copy those two borders like this it's a bit easier then we can change the values here let's take 700 or let's take 600 we can change this later i copied a little bit too much so let's delete this and then we want to put two vertical boxes in here but i want to separate this into parts so for this to work we need to wrap this with a vertex box so we can copy the border and paste it in here so now we have two borders and a vertical box so let's fill this one and let's say fill this one now we have 50 50 and then we can just say this will should be 0.7 and this here should be 0.3 so it adds up to one maybe we use four and 0.6 inside the first box i want first to have an image enter it and then let's say our size is 64 by 64 128 by 128 then under the image we want to have a text will be the text of the item we clicked something like weapon one want to center this also and maybe change to light and change the size to 18 or something like that. and under this i want to have a horizontal box and inside this horizontal box we get a border again and inside this border i want to have text here we will add how much items we have already in the inventory so let's center the horizontal box or no let's not center let's uh, sorry let's fill horizontally and let's add left and right padding up and this the border should be fill and the tint should be Something like get some light color in here. Uh, something like this. Change the text of the text block to let's say 12. Now this, this is small, 60. And then again to light. And here will be the text for, for example, in inventory. And then we will also wrap this with the horizontal box so we can add one more text to it like this. And this will be right aligned. Or we set this to auto and set this one to fill. And then you can just copy copy the text 
text from the inventory and paste it in here. They have the same size. Now we have this horizontal box here. We can also add to the top 20 padding. And then here on the image, we can also add 20 to the top. Something like this. If you're fine with the size, you can actually go here again and remove here the filling and say auto and here also again one like this then we can go in here where is it the horizontal box and we can also add 20 to the bottom like this then click on the uh, border here as we see we have here a bottom padding of two. Let's remove this. Like this. So we have only one border at the top and one at the bottom. Like this. For the bottom part where we show our ingredients, I just want to copy this border here. And then I want to open this up here inside the vertical box. I want to first add this one. We set it to auto. Then after that, we want to add a vertical, or no, sorry, a scroll. First, we have a scroll box in here, like this. And inside the scroll, we want to have a vertical box. This will be our pb underscore ingredients container. Click on the scroll box and set it to fill. And then you can also fill the vertical box. So now we have this container in here, which is the vertical box. Let's add the same padding as we have the top box to it, something like 20. And then we can compile and save. We will come here later and tweak the design, but for now this is fine now go to the crafting menu and inside here we search for the wb underscore ingredients view and we just pull it in here and as you can see the size is not going over so we can or we could just do it like this or we can anchor around and we can watch for the values of this vertical box so we have here left right and we have top 100 and bottom 200 so let's add this here to top sorry 200 and bottom 200 like this position x let's get 715 and size x 415 or let's say 500 now 415 is better like this Okay, next let's go back to the ingredients view and change here the text to something like ingredients. And then you can delete here the other text block like this. Back to the crafting menu and inside here, click on the crafting items container and make sure it is in variable. And then go to the craft designer and after the clicked on a crafting slot, we want to update our data. First, we get our last click slot here. And from that, we get our crafting item. And we save it here as the selected crafting item. Make sure to plug it in. And after that, we get our player reference. And from that, we want to get the AC inventory. This one and from that we need a new function so go ahead and search for your ac inventory and here we want to create a new function we call this get item amount from inventory and this one will be pretty simple input will be our string which is the item name item name and then we get our inventory we search for the find node plug the item name in and here from the find object we break 
And here we just get the amount. Make sure to add a return node and connect the amount to the return node like this. Back to the ingredients, sorry, crafting menu. And here we get the new event. Plug, get the selected crafting item, break it. And then from the crafting item, we want to resolve soft reference. And then we want to get the class defaults. So we get the name like this. Here on the class default, you can hide on all the unconnected pins. And here we can also remove the pins we don't need. Then this data will go into the ingredients view. So here let's add a new custom event. Call this update crafting data or something like this. And back into the menu, we want to call this function from the WP ingredients view. Search here for update. We have here the crafting data. And the first thing we should add here is the amount. In amount or inventory amount. Plug this in. And then we also need to pass the selected crafting item into the update crafting data. So for that, just search for the same variable you have here and add this here as underscore craftable item. This will be our crafting item like this. Can plug this in, compile, save. Oh, sorry, first compile here and save and then refresh the notes and now it should work. Then go to the ingredients view and save both of them to a variable, current inventory amount and the crafting item will be set to current crafting item from this one we also want to break and we want to resolve the soft reference we want to get the defaults and then we want to save this in a variable which is our crafting item name like this Now we go to the designer and now we can just click here on the weapon one and we bind this to the crafting item name. And then we bind the text here from the in inventory to the current inventory amount like this. And for the image in here, we want to go to the graph and from here we say make brush from texture. And we pick the same width and height we it in the designer and then we promote this to a variable and call this image brush or something like this. Connect it, go to the designer and then make sure to bind this to the image brush. Now we can play and test it out. Pick some items up so we can see that we have items in inventory. And then when you click on the longsword, or the X, you can see now the image, the text, and the inventory amount. One thing I want to change here is the space to the top. So for this, go to the vertical box here and at the top heading, let's add 20 to it. Like this, so we have the same space. And then we want to go to the crafting menu and inside here we want to search for the visibility and we say collapsed like this and then we want to set it after or before we update the crafting item to get the ingredient ingredients view and set the visibility to visible and now you can also copy this and every time we go on another top, 
we want to reset this again. So collapse and paste it in. Now we can test it again. Press C. We have no widget. We click on the widget. It appears. And as you can see, it updates. When you click on another top, the ingredients view disappears. And if you click again, it will appear again. And that's it for this video. And the next one, we will also add the ingredients here with a cool slot where we can also see how the ingredients look like and which we need. See you next week. Have a nice day.